Hey guys, what's up? It is Dark Queen. I decided to make you a video today and we are going to talk all about gear. All the gear that is essential that you have to build, to attack, to defend, to research, and to kill monsters. Um, any of this, this is like basically, I just want, um, I know a lot of you guys buy a lot and if you're utilizing your packs to the best of your ability, you should be able to get a lot of power out of every pack. And um, I know some of you guys buy and buy and buy and buy, but you don't have a lot of power yet. So I just wanted to make sure that we go over this, go over the gear, and um, to make sure that we can utilize the 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 speed ups and stuff like that that come out of your pack, your resources and stuff like that. Um, so that you're able to get your power as high as possible. Um, Sweetie just found out that, you know, she she's uh, more indivincible than she thought she was. Um, and generally, when you get up to the 100, 150 billion mark, you're safe. Um, in strong defense gear, like Obsidian, which is where we'll start, um, and you can see here, and I'll make it, uh, a little bit bigger I'll go in and show you um, but you know you if somebody hits you with their hero it doesn't matter if they're 600 billion power if they're a, a trillion power your defenses are strong enough to keep them and their marches out um, and I know personally that when I um, before I took my first big hit, which was from a, uh, at the time, Zero, a gape guy, um, I was petrified because they were like 900 billion power, and I was probably around the 300 mark, and I was, I was pretty nervous. There was no way I was going to keep this guy from, from getting my hero, um, but it turned out uh, they hit me with a full rally. Um, and those stats are actually also in Facebook. Um, so they hit me with a full rally and I took it. I only lost a few troops. Um, uh, most of them got healed. I didn't lose any traps and, uh, I took their hero. So I, I was pretty stoked about that. So we're going to first go over your obsidian gear, which is your defense gear. If your shield is down, you need to be in defense. Now, if you are slick, um, you can, you know, switch over to attack gear real quick to do something and then go back to defense, but you need to be pretty quick on the spot. So I don't know if you can tell here, but I have everything labeled pretty much because I need to be organized or I won't know what I'm doing. Um, my obsidian gear, that's our defense. If, if you do not have obsidian, um, skeleton gear or Frost Lord, either one. Um, when I got hit by the Zero guys, um, and actually two of them in a row hit me, and I was pretty confident that I was toast, uh, but I took both their heroes, and uh, I was in Frost Lord gear. And uh, we actually have, I'm gonna look here because I'm, I'm, I wanna make sure I tell everything correctly. Um, I have these gems, in every piece of my gear, which is giving me um, some amazing stats. So, as you can see here, it's glowing like this. Um, you won't get this unless you use a specific gem set. Uh, and the gem sets, um, you can find them online. I'm getting ready to build a blog to put all this stuff together for anybody who doesn't want to be on Facebook. Um, but this is the Aegis set gear. Uh, d defense gem set gear. Now, the only way you're going to get, you can put these same gems inside your gear, but if you do not have your gem set research done to a specific point, you are not going to get your bonus for uh, this gear. And as you can see here, it shows I got the gem set bonus of 100% for troop defense, uh, strategic troop defense, and wild troop defense. So, um, but this is the, the gem set that I use in absolutely all of my defense gear. Um, it's what I filled my Frost Lord with. It's what my Obsidian is filled with. And I am quite safe at this point. 
Um, you want to have all pieces in your gear to make for a full set. And what you'll want to do is, as you see, it's all lit up in green here. Your base set, it, you've got your base set bonuses and you've got special bonuses for having all seven pieces um, in it, your uh, thing. And so mine, I've already done it so you can't see it. But this set special bonus down here that's in gray will actually be in blue like the reset special bonus. And you'll want to set that because as soon as you get your gear together and all the pieces together in a preset, you're going to want to set the special bonus because before you do that, it doesn't give you anything. It just says special bonus and then it shows question mark, question mark, question mark. So you want to hit set special bonus to, to set your special bonus. You can also reset them. So there's a couple of different things that it'll give you um, if you hit reset special bonus and, uh, you know, you can click one of these and it'll actually change these stats and give you different stats. So you would have to look over them and see if they're more beneficial for you or not. Now, one thing that I don't think a lot of people are doing or doing right is going and doing a skill set tree for their hero. Now, as you can see here, once you have enough research done, you'll have all the presets for your gear open and you'll have open your um, hero skill tree presets. So in my case, I wanna build out a tree specifically for defense. So each one of these trees that I have built here are all set for that specific thing. So just to take a quick look at it so that you can go back and look at this, we want to basically open up um, and, and put as many points on defense related stuff. Um, and as you can see here, I'm, I'm gonna try to scroll pretty slow. You can see that, you know, I, I have to put some points in there to open those up, of course, but we want truth, troop health and troop defense as high as we can get them so that um, you're obviously, you know, working for defense gear. Um, troop defense two, health defense, range defense, infantry, cavalry, uh, enemy health debuff. You know, I, I could put more when I get more points um, into these uh, infantry health and cavalry health. Um, and this can always be redone. Um, you know, you got your march speed. Um, you really don't need troop training. Um, your altar boost and your uh, altar health and defense boosts help you when you have heroes and you've executed heroes. Um, you get days on your altar and um, those days will eventually run out. So every once in a while, um, you know, if you don't have the ability yet to sit for three days with a hero, um, and no shield, um, if you have an instant execute, that works too. And those are available in a lot of the packs, especially the $100 packs. Um, they're in there, and most of the time they're in the uh, $40, $49 packs, and occasionally in the $20 packs, if we're lucky. Um, you definitely want um, this full set bonus filled up, because that helps you get the full set bonus for your gear and actually now that i'm going back over because it's been quite a while since i've done this research tree i may actually go over and redo it i'm not sure um i see some things i could probably uh, change a little bit in here tweak a little bit like for instance to go back up here maybe take away some you know enemy health debuff and move it over onto my infantry and cavalry health and my ranged health you know, it's it's all stuff. It's just a little bit. I don't know if it makes much of a difference. Um, but yeah, then I've got this going all the way down. Troop defense, troop attacks pretty high, troop health. Um, and then I come down here. Now, you've only got so many points, depending on your hero level, to fill this up. So make sure you go slow and you take your time. Um, because if you mess up, you can't take a point away. You're, you're going to basically have to start all over again. Um, so that's where I'm at with this. As you can see, none of my right side tree is filled 
uh, for my defense. It all stays on the left hand side. And like I said, I think that that tree can actually use a little tweaking um, there. Now, for your next set of gear um, that is important, super important, is your Oracle gear. Now, they've just come out with a brand new research gear. And basically, um, it's going to work exactly like this. So if you've already got the new research gear, um, just, you know, the gems are going to stay the same. Um, and, and everything else will stay the same, just the gear changes. So, for instance, in this, um, if you get the gem set bonus, you have a research, the Oracle research gem set. Um, and that is these gems here that are included in that. Uh, like I said, you can also look this up online. But you get a 4% bonus on your research speed with this gem set. And it's the best gem set. You know, there's there's really no better gems. These are it. Like, even if you had options, like, there is no other better gems than these. Um, and then also, when you do your hero skill tree, same thing. With this one, you know, you're really, um, you're really... You know, I've got it done because you've got a lot of points and you don't have a lot of research um, skills. So, you know, obviously I have my my research filled all the way up. But I'm going down both sides on this and, and, and I'll show you why. Um, I've got a lot of production type things up so that my production is higher while I'm wearing my gear. Um, wood, stone, production. Here's research two. Um, construction gatherer, you know, um, really on this one, a lot of it's just mostly gathering, um, or not gathering, but resource stuff along with the extra, um, the research blocks that need to be filled. And I don't remember, I'm going to look if there's another, I don't think there's another research one down here. I don't know. There's not. Okay. So, I have it down this one side, mostly for research and things like that. Down the other side, basically, I only have it done, and I'm actually not going to scroll all the way back up, because the only thing I really did on this one, on, on my left side here, is to open it up so I got the full set bonus. That is the only one that I'm actually concerned about on the left-hand side. So what I do is, is just put enough points on everything to open up the full set bonus. And uh, that's really the only thing that I worry about in my research gear. This is going to help you save tons and tons and tons and tons of time as far as your, your speed ups go. Stuff is already super, super expensive. If you can utilize that, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about saving yourself three or four days. I mean, we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of days. Um, so your Oracle gear is super important to have in place, um, made everything made to six, everything level six, orange, yellow, whatever color you want to call that. Um, so that you get the most benefit out of that gear. Um, Pegasus is the gear that I use for attack. Uh, most people do. In this one, I actually have a, a combination of gems. I have two different gem sets. They just come out with the frozen uh, gem set, the frozen health. I have this in there. Um, and I also use, um, and you can see this gives you a whole lot of extra troop attack, uh, strategic troop attack, wild troop attack, truth health, uh, strategic troop health, wild troop health. You get a big bonus. Um, if you have your gem set done in your research tree. Um, and then also I have onslaught gems in here. I have a combination of both. Um, I really, I just kind of like changed it because I had other gears, um, other gems in there. So I just changed it and brought my troop attack up by a thousand points and brought my defense up by a couple hundred. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, but you know, as you can see, they both give you different stats. Um, the onslaught gives you the troop attack, strategic troop attack and wild troop attack bonus. Um, it doesn't have any health bonuses, so I want high health. High health really does help. Um, and then I've I've got this set up for altar boosts. Um, I can put that gear on. Um, 
I just got a set of gear in there. It's nothing fancy, but I have a hero tree set for it. Oh, before I forget, this is a long video. My attack gear, the, the skill tree for it is just like my defense, except it's set for um, attack. So we are all set for attack there. And I think on this one, it looks like I have the base set bonus and the full set bonus done on this one along with attack stuff. So, um, and this one, again, I'd made these a really long time ago, so I may be able to go back and actually, um, make them a little bit better. Um, the altar boost, like I said, you can get a boost off your, um, off your kills. Um, you'll get a four day boost if you fill the hero tree. Um, and I'll show you, and I don't think I even have, I don't even have all my points assigned here because the only thing you actually need, um, I would say, well, there's a couple things, you know, there's the altar boost health, uh, altar boost defense, altar boost attack. These all raise the attack levels and stuff that you get while your altar's active and your altar gets active by execute, executing a hero. And that time can be extended if you have your altar boost duration filled all the way up. You'll get four extra days if you slap on this gear and execute your hero, you will get four extra days for that gear. And then, um, let's see. I have my Supreme Marshal, which, you know, now there's a brand new gear out for that, um, for troop training. For There's a set of gems for your troop training. It's your general uh, gem set. And I don't know why that's not lit up. Oh, you know why? I know why. Because I changed it. Because the troop, the general gem set gives you a 4% uh, boost in training speed. And um, in all actuality, and I forget which gem it is now. Hold on, let me look at this. Maybe I should look at a different piece of gear. Um, yeah, that one, I think, no. I'd have to look up the gem set for it, but if you actually do it this way, you get 5% training speed instead of 4%. So the gem set that it actually has for you is set to do, uh, four, it'll give you a 4% boost. But if you use the gem set this way, you actually get more than the gem set bonus. So um, that I have changed up. And uh, so that I don't get the gem set bonus for that because this way is actually set up so that I get a better bonus than what the gem set would give me. Um, then we have the architect. There's a couple sets of architect gear. There's the master architect. The glorious architect is the newest one. Um, this also has a gem set that will help reduce your construction time. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's real simple. It's a, let's see, was it an ore, a wood, a stone, and then this guy and the mason gem. And then that gives us a 4% uh, bonus on construction speed per, you know, item that you have it in. And, um, and then for the glorious architect, we also have a skill tree set for that. I've, uh, and for the troop training, which there's troop training in the skill tree. Um, and you just want to get that, get those filled as best you can. As you can see, there's a troop training right there in the first row. And then, um, I've gone through since I've gotten more points and just randomly added it to things like food production and things like that. Um, this one also I filled with trap building just because I have enough points to be able to do so here. Troop training again. I have the full set bonus um, done on this. More resource related things. Um, but yeah, um, troop training down here in the middle. I've got that, my base set bonus and my full set bonus. And really beyond that, there's nothing, you know, fancy there. Um, really at that point, once you've got, oh, here it is, it's way down here. Troop training capacity. 
how many troops you can train at a time. So that one's one that you definitely want filled up. I'm really sorry this video is so long. Oh, darn it. Um, and then there's actually gear for crafting, um, crafting core gear and regular set gear. Um, they save you time on your core crafting costs. Um, I don't have all the pieces to it and I don't even think I ever got anything together for it. So, I mean, I do have like two pieces right there and those are for cores to save money coring, but I do have a skill tree set for it. Not all the way set for it, but it, well, I mean, it has extra points, I think because, or no, I filled them in evidently, but, um, you have core crafting and duration, like how long your, um, core is going to last for. I have those, um, high range boost duration, uh, stuff like that, um, that I have this core crafting luck. Those are all filled in. And I also apparently have my hero blessing, uh, tree filled in for the most part here. I do have a separate tree made up for hero blessings though. So it's whatever, uh, the monster gear, the newest gear is right here, the behemoth slayer. And there is a gem set for Behemoth Slayer. It gives you an 8% hero attack bonus if you have your gem set research done. Um, and you'll be able, in that gear, if you have a gem rate, you'll be able to kill a level 5 monster, level 6 monster in like one shot. Like it's easy peasy. This is the all... Uh, <laughs> knowing Prospector gear, which I know Moose knows a lot of Valve Bad, even though he tries to be sneaky and not tell me. But, um, and I'm at fault. I, I've stuck my hero on the tile. This is something you really have to be extremely careful doing. Now, I will tell you a little trick because it's actually kind of hard if you don't look in the right place to find this little trick. Now, inside my gear, um, I have a couple of things. Um, they're a little bit different. This blue one right here that looks like a head, uh, an omega, this one is your gathering speed gem. This, is, this helps with your troop load, your gathering load, and alliance load. This um, gem, gem of flight, helps for troop load, march speed, and alliance troop load. I just stuck me a fat old defense one in there just for giggles because I didn't have anything else to put in there. This is your prospector gem and you probably have a lot of these. Now this gem you are to put, I think I read you have to have at least two in your gear total um, to make this work. And from what I understand, what I read was is that if you send your hero onto a regular resource tile, we're talking about stone, wood, ore, or food, and this is just a regular old farm, not, not a gift tile, not a mythic tile, not a behemoth tile, you take your hero and you set it on the thingy, you can actually recall it and go back without your hero, and supposedly you're supposed to have a shield if you don't already have the ability to have shields. Um, I will look it up again. You can you can look it up for yourself, um, but apparently that's what it's supposed to do. That's what I read. I have not tried it, so I don't know. I have only used my Prospector gear on gift tiles, which works amazingly fast, and it's great when everybody's fighting at the Wonder and nobody's really out hunting down tiles. Um, my my tip for you though is that if you are gonna use your your um, hero on a gift tile where there's a possibility that you're gonna get knocked out, um, what you need to do is and and I don't know if I can find I don't think I can find a tile my luck I won't find a tile, but um, you know when you click on the tile for instance and it shows you you know, you're on a gift tile level four or whatever, you know, you can either go home or, you know, whatever. Basically what I've learned to do, and I really wish I could find 
a tile just getting done right now. Well, I'll be darn. Look at that. Okay, so on this screen, you're sitting on this tile. You have two options here. One of them is go home. Whenever I'm sitting on a research tile or on a, a gift tile, I leave this screen open. Every once in a while, I'll flip back and then go back in again just to see if anybody else has poured it close. But this, to me, is my easiest way of doing it. Instead of sitting here, all of a sudden, dude's going to attack, right? So I got to hurry up and click and then hit go home. And it's just a lot more time. You'll see the notification pop up across the bottom like you do when you're going to get attacked or whatever. You know, so you can hurry up and hit that go home button. If uh, you see an incoming scout, if you see um, anything like that where you're afraid you're going to get hit, um, you know, I, I leave it up like that and just watch constantly um, to see what's going to happen. So far, knock on wood, I haven't lost my hero on a tile, but we'll pretend I didn't say that so I don't get in trouble. So, and, and end up losing my hero. I don't generally do it unless it seems to be like we've collected a lot of tiles lately and everything's been pretty dead, then um, I'll usually go ahead and do it to, to hurry up and wipe it out, especially those level one and two. If you notice, like they do not draw as fast as like a level four and five. So they take absolutely forever to do. So I'll just let those two fight over that because I don't feel like being a part of that right now. So anyways, um, back to the gear and, and your packs. You know, in your packs, you really, 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 really need to make sure that um, you're utilizing every bit of, of speed up and, and resource that you have because these new researches are costing a shit ton of money and resources to get done. So, um, you know, a couple trillion in a resource will get like, you know, four or five or six things done in the advanced eco tree and um, in the new hero uh, section. So it, it's really quite a pain in the badonkadonk for, for resources. So we all really need to work on gathering resources as much as possible, no matter where we get it from, so we can help each other and whatever to get through this research because this this whole trillion resource thing is is for the birds because that advanced ego and I think let's look here I've got new combat research too since I went to 26 so I'm really not it goes up to 20 now I'm I'm totally not okay with that um but in this advanced economics um you know we look here let's hit research you see my resources I need I need 850 billion resources in order to just do this one. And even with my year on and I'm using a, a research boost, you know, I'm still at 80,000 days or something like that. So if you have the opportunity to go to one of the training grounds, you have a lot of uh, gear or a lot of uh, resources that you're able to use to go ahead and, and use that, I would do so. But make sure, like I said, that you've got plenty of, of resources to be able to um, get some of that done because like I have them right now but as you can see I don't have a t I've got enough silver to sink a ship but I can't load it all in there because the king will take it and he's a butthead so it's whatever but I don't have enough to do more than just a couple researches in, in the advanced economics but um, it really helps to have your your tree done uh, for your gem set to make your your gear as as strong as possible and this was an expensive one to get through um, but I did it without going to another kingdom to do it um, quite a few packs got me this one done and um, so and it really helps all the way around with a lot of stuff um, so that is it for our gear I've taken a half hour to teach you or show you this um, and I'm sorry this video is so long, but like I said, I really want everybody to be able, you know, when you're building in construction, make sure you're using your architect gear. And if you can make sure you're using one of the bonuses, um, you know, there's a lot 
of you got a construction bonus time here you you save 75 percent um, for the highest one your train speed you've got a 75 percent you've got promotion speeds for your garrison you've got research speed um, to help out there you've got troop Q that you can use to, to make your queue bigger when you're training your troops um, make sure you utilize all of these along with your events um, because quite honestly you can earn back a lot of money in some of these events this build research train repeat is a really easy event to hit um, if you have endless infernos run them um, because I've gotten a couple million she quite a few million 10 20 30 million off of taking an hour right when the event starts you get a troop bonus going you get a troop promotion going and um, or not troop promotion but troop Q going and then uh, you run an endless inferno twice during that hour and you will clean up seriously on some gold uh, the other the other things aren't quite as it's like oh, okay some core pieces and stuff like that that's great I have so much of that stuff coming out of my ears I can't see straight but you know you'll you'll earn these over and over and over again like if when you hit level three that's a million gold each time and I know if I take an hour to do troop training and I have my endless inferno going and all that stuff then I can easily easily get to 30 million 40 million if not more um, when I'm running my troop training either using speed ups using gold depending on however you want to do it I have so many uh, small speed ups that it's really much easier to use speed ups but every once in a while I cheat and use some gold because I'm lazy so anyways I know there's a whole whole lot in this video and I will probably make more as things continue to change um, I already have the one in here somewhere in Facebook about my core training and um, I will put this up on YouTube also and uh, if you guys have any questions just ask um, I've pretty much I still have to go ask fear every once in a while because he knows more than me still and uh, and especially when it comes to cores um, because each cores is a little different some are for attack some are for defense some are for um, mostly for attack I think and then you've got um, each one of them has a specific set of troops that it works well with whether it's cavalry or ranged or whatever so there's a lot to go over and once I get that straight I may make a video on that although they keep releasing new cores and different you know Black Friday sets and ice sets and this set and that set so God only knows I can't keep it straight right now I have to get rid of some of my gear because I have too much and my thing is completely full I can't even add extra space it's horrible so at any rate this is Dark Queen I am sorry I kept you on here for over a half hour at any rate I love you all and I will talk at you soon